こんにちは。あさみ here。If you ask me what my favorite sweet is, I would say chocolate. So today, let's indulge ourselves with these Japanese pancakes with chocolate sauce. You may wonder why don't you just add chocolate to the pancake batter? While that must also be delicious, Japanese pancakes are known as very fluffy pancakes, but they are delicate at the same time and they shrink easily as time goes by. Chocolate contains fat that can break the fluffiness of pancakes. So let's bake the original Japanese pancakes, then pour on top as much chocolate sauce as we want. First, we are gonna prepare toppings. For the chocolate sauce, it's super easy. We need just two ingredients. Put one cup of chocolate into a bowl, then place the bowl over a pot of hot water, which is called a double boiler. If the water is too hot, it may cause the chocolate to burn, so turn off the heat before it boils. Stir occasionally to melt it evenly. I prefer to use dark chocolate for my chocolate sauce, but feel free to use your favorite chocolate like milk chocolate or white chocolate. Meanwhile, put a quarter cup of milk into a microwave safe cup and microwave it until simmering. I'm using a microwave because it's easier, but feel free to heat it up on the stove. Once the chocolate is melted, remove it from the double boiler, then add the warmed milk in three pots. Stir gently from the center outwards, mix to combine. Don't mix roughly, otherwise, excess air will get inside and the texture will be less smooth. Once it's combined, add another one third of the milk. And that's pretty much it. You can keep this in the fridge for up to four days, and you can enjoy it with not only pancakes, but also with your ice cream, cake, whenever goes well with chocolate sauce. It will get a little hard when you keep in the fridge, so warm it up a little before using it to bring it to room temperature. I'm gonna also whip up the whipping cream as a topping because it goes well with fluffy pancakes. However, it's totally optional. Put a half cup of whipping cream into another big bowl along with one tablespoon of sugar. Then whip it up with a hand mixer. You can also whip up with a whisk by hand, but place the bowl over another bowl with ice water while whipping. This is because whipping cream will deteriorate as its temperature rises. Once it is whipped to the desired consistency, store it in the fridge until using. I'm going to crush up some cookies and put them on top for the crunchy texture. Chocolate chips or roasted nuts would also be good. Toppings are ready, so let's move on to the pancakes. There is another video where I explain the detailed tips for baking Japanese pancakes. The link is in the description box below, so please check it out if you want to know more. Here, I'll explain the process more briefly. Add 2 tablespoons of milk to 2 egg yolks, then mix to combine. Mix a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and three tablespoons of flour, stir to combine. Then sift into the egg yolk mixture. Put two egg whites into another bowl, add two tablespoons of sugar in three pots. Whip until the meringue forms stiff peaks. Add the meringue into the egg mixture, folding gently from bottom to top. Then pipe the butter into a preheated pan. 
put the lid on. Then bake for about 3 to 5 minutes on each side or until they get golden. While the pancakes are baking, set the toppings within your reach so that you can decorate as soon as pancakes are baked. I also have my plate, knife, and fork ready. Once your pancakes are baked, Transfer to a plate. Be careful, they are super soft. From here, it's totally up to you. For my pancakes, I'm gonna put a big spoonful of the whipped cream, arrange the crumbled cookies, and chocolate chunks. Sprinkle powdered sugar and cocoa powder would be good especially for the YouTube video, but it's optional, just for presentation really. Then pour as much sauce as you like over the pancakes. Add a little more cookie crumbles for a presentation, then ready to enjoy. Although the pancakes are thick, they are super soft. I feel like I'm eating a cloud, which makes you want to eat more pancakes. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, it means a lot when you take a second to give it a thumbs up. This detailed recipe is on my blog, as always, I'll leave the link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go enjoy my chocolate pancakes before they begin to go flat, so see you in the next video. Arigato and sayonara. Bye!